Hello friends, this is Brent and thank you for tuning into the channel. Please like and subscribe so you can be notified and don't forget to leave a comment below as I would love to hear from you. Let's dive right in. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Brent, AKA Ask for Brent, your favorite Lexus car sales professional. I know what you're probably wondering if you're a subscriber to this channel, where have you been? Well, I had a couple of rough months. Uh, one was COVID and it didn't last that long, but it really threw me off my game. But the good news is I have been studying up, skilling up and trying to get better at my craft. So as always, my video is gonna have the segments, the chapters or the bookmarks more or less and you can skip ahead to whatever you like to see, but I'd like to share with you guys who've been following me for a while now, or even from the beginning, a new video of an IS, my IS, to get you ready for the new IS, the 2023 model. So, hope you enjoy the video. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and jump in to the review. So what we're going to be doing here, just so you guys know, I'm going to come to Lexus newsroom as I normally do, and I'm going to keep you up to date on everything new with Lexus and what they're releasing. Right now, what's new is the 2023 IS 300, 350, and 500. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the article. I'm going to read the article to you, and then I will give you some feedback on what I think or what I'm excited about or any kind of perspective like that. Also, for all my Lexus people out there, please leave it in the comments below. If you have some input, we'd love to hear from you. Your opinion matters. Let's dive right in. So, the new special appearance packages available on IS350, as well as the IS500 F Sport models, IS Series First Molten Pearl IS500 F Sport Premium. This is the Molten Pearl looks kind of sharp to me. I can't wait to see this in person because you know uh, pictures more often than not don't necessarily do uh, the color justice. So I can't wait to see that in person myself. Exclusive 19 inch matte black BBS forged alloy wheel available on F-Sport models. All new F-Sport design grade and handling package available on IS350 F-Sport. So for more than 20 years the IS has provided a dynamic bond between driver and machine for guests across the world. With the launch of the all new IS in 2021, Lexus expanded it on that legacy by sharpening the driving performance fundamentals through the introduction of Lexus driving signature, a key pillar for the Lexus brand. Then in 2022, the all new IS 500 S Sport performance brought an undeniable presence to the lineup. It is, sorry, with its naturally aspirated 5.0 liter V8 generating 472 horsepower, 395 foot pounds of torque. Okay, the 2023 IS will build on that success by offering new standard features and additional luxury options. IS 500 F Sport and F Sport Premium. For 2023, the IS 500 will offer standard new 19 inch NK alloy wheels with a dark finish based on the success of the 2022 IS 500 launch edition. The 2023 IS 500 will also continue the exclusive 19 inch matte black BBS forged alloy wheels as an available option for both IS 500 F Sport performance models. What I like to say, just to interject here, if you are a person who had an ISF or if you're a person that's looking for this uh, V8 engine in the IS, uh, particularly in the IS 500 model, I would suggest that you act quickly so just to give you an idea of what happened in 2022 the good news about me being a lexus car sales professional is i can give you a little bit of inside knowledge of what i see on a day-to-day -day basis at the dealership we saw the is 500 maybe the first two months two three months of the year i have personally not seen an is 500 in about six to seven months and it's just because they didn't make a lot of them 
they did not make a lot of them so if this is a car that you're interested in might i suggest to you you talk to your local dealer hopefully i'm your local dealer but you talk to your local dealership and you make sure you get on that list you make sure you find out what does it take to get that car because if it's anything like 2022 at the 2022 model like we're not going to see many of them released whether it's a launch edition or otherwise the is 500 is pretty hard to come by and uh again i haven't even seen one hit the dealership in about six to seven months so pretty excited to see it come back and i just want to give you guys that public service announcement this is something where you want to treat it with some urgency if you're interested so for those who want to take their is 500 to the next level an all new 2023 special appearance package will be offered on the IS500 F Sport Premium Grade. This exclusive packaging includes head turning molten pearl exterior paint with black new lux interior and complemented by the distinct 19 inch matte black BDS forged alloy wheels. The 2023 special appearance package also includes unique color matched floor trim mats and matching key gloves. That's interesting. That actually makes this a lot more attractive to me. And what I was gonna say is because I'm the kind of person, and I'm sure a lot of us are wired this way, uh, you enjoy exclusivity. It's not that you have another one of the cars, you have the car. So if anybody ever sees you pull up in this, they will know that you have an IS500 for one, but it's also exclusive premium uh, coloring package, which I think that's awesome. 2023 IS500 Sport Premium with the special appearance package will be limited to 150 units. There goes that exclusivity that I was talking about and will go on sale this fall. That's interesting. So that, that should be around the corner. The IS300, IS350 S Sport, the 2023 IS300 and IS350 S Sport models continue to offer powerful performance and exceptional craftsmanship for 2023. The IS350 will be offered in a new S Sport design grade for both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive configurations. All the carefully curated S Sport exterior styling treatments, including bumpers, grill, rear lip spoiler, and badging can be found on the updated IS350 S Sport design, including the 19 inch S Sport alloy wheels. In addition, IS350 S Sport will add a handling package for 2023, which offers adaptive variable suspension, Torsen limited slip rear differential on rear wheel drive models and drive mode select with Sport S, S Plus and custom modes. The 19 inch matte black BBS forged alloy wheels can also be added to this package. For 2023, the IS350 S Sport will offer an exclusive special appearance package, which includes a unique exterior combination featuring incognito paint accented by an obsidian black hood and roof complemented by black new Lux interior. To complete this distinctive look, the package also offers 19 inch Inkai alloy wheels with a dark finish. A limited 480 units will be produced and will go on sale this fall. That again, that exclusivity makes that look super sharp because when someone sees you in that car again, they're going to know if they're a Lexus enthusiast as all of you are, um, they're going to know that there's only so many of those units out there. You got your hands on one and it's something special so definitely and i like that they're giving that to the is 350 s sport showing it some love um even though it's not the is 500 which is the v8 the coveted you know powerhouse vehicle so i really enjoy that i'm happy to see the direction that they're going forward with that the lexus driving signature lives at shimoyama the 2021 IS launched an era of vehicles developed at Toyota Technical Center Shimoyama with a uniform Lexus driving signature. Since Lexus launched, the tactile feel, behavior, and execution for each model has been driven by the vision and efforts of the chief engineer. Lexus driving signature is a key pillar of the Lexus next chapter and represents a fundamental shift in our product development process and culture. Through this process, the efforts of the CE are focused on elevating the vehicles to a new standard of performance and handling as developed by Lexus International President and Chief Branding Officer Koji Sato and Master Driver and Brand Holder Akio Toyota. The ultimate goal is to deliver a new generation of Lexus vehicles that are designed with a shared brand identity that includes responsive and linear control, exceptional handling, grip and confidence, and refined ride quality and quietness. These elements are realized through rigorous testing and evaluation at the Toyota Technical Center Shimoyama. I can tell you from having uh, an IS myself, 
Uh, we drive the NX's. Actually, my wife's getting the new NX next week, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and also test driving the LX600 model. All these models have the Lexus driving signature. It is very smooth. They do have an identical feel. Um, they do all feel kind of like you're riding in a sedan, so it's not top heavy and kind of wobbly. So it feels, it gives it a little sporty edge, particularly when you're talking about the SUVs. But with the IS, it just sits in the road. Very nice, hugs corners. You're gonna really love this car. If you're considering it, I would definitely say, go take one for a spin and you're gonna be, you're gonna be impressed for sure. And I'm looking forward to that with the new RX as well, having that Lexus driving signature. Um, so yes, that is a key pillar going forward and I can't wait to see it kind of rolled out in all the other vehicles. Fast, fun, ferocious, putting the F and F Sport. The IS F Sport lineup was restructed, restructed with this current generation with F Sport only offered on the IS 350 F Sport. That features a host of visual and performance cues that immediately set it apart, including a unique front bumper with functional aerodynamic enhancements, rear bumper, grille surround, rear lip spoiler, rocker molding, and more. Furthermore, F Sport models have unique F Sport 19 inch wheels as well as F-Sport badges that adorn the sides of the vehicle. The bold exterior styling of the IS aims for, for provocative design with muscular fenders that extend to enhance and accommodate the available 19-inch wheels. The wide and low form nods to the inherently high level of driving performance the IS possesses, but the sleek lines are also complemented with overtly aggressive sharpness carved into the side and shoulder character lines. Um, I find that interesting. So what happened in 2021 when they released this new body style of the IS, um, what they're kind of referring to here as well is before 2021, the IS 300, which is a four cylinder turbo, could have been an F Sport model as well as the IS 350. So from the outside looking in, let's say if you debadged your car, you could have had an IS 300 looking like you had an IS 350. So they, they did something very distinct there where they created a clean separation where 300s are just not F sports and the 350s are F sports. And you can tell the difference. So, you know, somebody has that, you know, the bigger V6 engine and now with the IS 500, while it's just, it's an F sport, just like the 350, you can see like a little increase in the hood. So, um, this is very interesting that they made that distinction and it looks like they're kind of speaking on that now slender headlamps are fitted on the is that feature daytime running lights with a sharp l shape signature that runs across the lateral axis just above the compact and lightweight lamp units these headlamps help contribute to expressing a low center of gravity through low positioned areas around the grille and they are matched by lowered side character lines that carry all the way through to the rear of trunk Available triple beam LED headlamps are also redesigned to complement the low profile hood. Rocker panels accent the side profile of the IS with a design that kicks up in the rear, featuring a sharp overall contour that carries into the muscular shoulders over the rear wheel wells. Gently sloped rear quarter pillars, which help form a firm cabin silhouette that wraps around the sides. Contrast with the rear fenders to further enhance the aggressive look. Moving toward the back of the IS lines of the rear fenders blend into the extended lower rear deck to create a low stance that enhance, enhances the wider hips. The three-dimensional form of the rear deck design is created with a stamping technology called press-in mold construction. No question eyes will be drawn mostly, sorry, most immediately to the L-shaped blade style light bar that spans across the rear of the vehicle. I love it. Uh, it looks very nice on the highway at night. The 2023 IS family will be offered in 10 popular exterior colors, including ultra white, eminent white pearl, atomic silver, cloudburst gray, iridium, caviar, matador red mica, infrared, Gresham water, and ultrasonic blue mica. Bask in cabin comfort. The IS interior features standard new Lux trim seating with 10-way power driver and 8-way power adjustable front passenger seats, a dual-zone automatic climate control system with touch-sensitive controls, and available power moonroof, and smart access with push-button start-stop. F-Sport models feature door trim with a graphic pattern of embossed intersecting lines representing a new form of Lexus decorative expression in Takumi Craftsmanship decorative. Ornamentation is finished in black metallic paint, black geometric film, or the exclusive satin chrome on IS500 F Sport performance models, which is new for 2023. Standard Nulux interior trim 
color options include black, glazed caramel, Roja Red, and for IS350 Esport and IS500 Esports models, the available interior colors include black, circuit red, and two-tone white black trim. That's going to be very sharp. Uh, the IS features a standard 8-inch touchscreen for easy access to the controls. An expansive 10.3-inch touchscreen is available on vehicles equipped with navigation or the Mark Levinson Premium audio package. The multimedia system features Apple CarPlay compatibility, Android Auto compatibility, and Amazon Alexa and integration so just to stop right there for a moment this is something interesting a lot of the new models um and i sorry i haven't been around to report on this but a lot of the new models are going to the uh the new lexus infotainment system to have the wireless apple carplay the wireless android auto these models are the nx obviously um the lx the rx right the ux and the es so we've seen some of the models uh some of the spec sheets come through for our dealership and the es will have the new lexus infotainment system to give you the wireless apple carplay and android auto which i believe is something that a lot of people want and are truly excited about moving into these next model lexuses um it's interesting that the is is not getting that upgrade so I'd imagine, and this is, I mean, I don't have any insider knowledge on this at all, but I would imagine that maybe the RC also is not getting that upgrade because they are, they have roughly a similar interior. So very interesting that they're sticking with this one, but I'd imagine maybe uh, next year they will go ahead and update that, which is when I have to get my new IS. So um, in any case, the available Mark Levinson premium surround sound audio system includes 17 speakers with an amplifier delivering an impressive 1800 watts. The Mark Levinson system reduces interference, improves output aided by the addition of two speakers, and improves overall sound quality with EQ tuning. Rear surround speakers are tweeter mid-range combination Unity speakers. The audio amplifier has enhanced quantum logic surround for playback of compressed sound sources and to provide a 7.1 surround sound listening experience. Drivetrains and powertrains. The 2023 IS is available in both rear and all-wheel drive options, and there are four distinct powertrain options available depending upon the grade. The rear-wheel drive is IS300 features a 2.0-liter turbocharged and intercooled inline four-cylinder engine. The 2.0-liter engine features an adaptive transmission control that helps determine the most appropriate gear for each driving situation based on driver input to achieve linear response. Rated to deliver 241 horsepower, the stout four-cylinder also produces a solid 258 foot-pounds of torque across a flat torque range from 1650 RPMs all the way up to 4400 RPMs. It's not only powerful, it's efficient too, thanks to a sophisticated variable valve timing intelligent wide system, which allows the engine to switch between the auto and At Atkinson combustion cycles to maximize efficiency. It comes equipped with an eight-speed sport direct shift automatic transmission it integrates an advanced g-force artificial intelligence system that monitors multiple performance parameters to determine the optimum gear selection for added traction in cold weather climates the is 300 is also available with all-wheel drive the is 300 all-wheel drive is powered by a 3.5 liter v6 that delivers 260 horsepower 236 foot pounds of torque to all four wheels through a six-speed automatic transmission the electronically controlled all-wheel drive system is designed to help enhance traction and grip by automatically varying front to rear torque distribution. On dry roads, it maintains a 30-70 front to rear torque split for maximum performance, but is capable of sending as much as 50% of the power to the front wheels in certain conditions. For buyers who crave additional power, there's the IS350 in either wheel-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, powered by a 3.5 liter V6 that produces 311 horsepower, 280 foot-pounds of peak torque. The rear wheel drive models use the same 8 speed sport direct shift automatic transmission found in the IS300 rear wheel drive, while the all wheel drive version sends power through a 6 speed automatic. If there's any question about the performance minded nature of each vehicle, look no further than 0 to 60 times. As the IS350 rear wheel drive covers the ground in 5.6 seconds, while the IS350 all wheel drive goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. For those passionate customers who want to push the envelope on driving performance and exhilaration, Lexus is proud to offer the IS500 F Sport Performance as the Halo model in the IS family. The IS500 is the first model of the F Sport Performance brand. Under the unique raised hood lies a naturally aspirated 5.0 liter V8 
generating 472 horsepower, 395 foot-pounds of torque, and eight-speed direct shift automatic transmission channels that power to the rear wheels of this performance sedan and throaty quad exhaust system with dual stacked tailpipes amplify the sound of this high output engine very nice sound on that engine lexus safety system 2.5 this is more of the same if you've probably seen this again this article is on lexus newsroom and then here are some msrps so what the car will sell for manufacturer's suggested retail price, including delivery processing and handling fee of $1,150. So you're gonna see this anywhere from 40,585 all the way up to $62,770. Okay. With that, that will conclude our review. <laughs> of the new 2023 is um main thing that i picked up here is they're just gonna get them they're gonna look sportier they're gonna have another like unique color out there last year was the incognito for the launch edition for the is 500 um now it's gonna be the molten pearl is 500 f sport premium that's gonna be interesting and then we're also gonna see that new uh is gonna be an incognito for the 350 with a two-tone uh, color paint job, the black top, which I think is slick, and then uh, the black hood, which I'm curious to see what that looks like in real life. Um, yeah, so please leave in the comments below um, what you like to see more about. I wanna do this whole thing where I'm really giving you updates on Lexus news, and I really wanna focus in on that. I'm gonna try to drop some really cool videos as I start making them um, of cars. I wanna bring more attention to my YouTube audience. Uh, Another reason why you probably haven't seen me is because I'm pretty big into Instagram. Like I'm posting on Instagram daily, once a day, every single day of the week. And so if you, you know, want some more frequent kind of like visuals of Lexus or, you know, just kind of more access to me, I would encourage you to go ahead and follow me at Ask for Brent on Instagram. I'd be happy to see you over there. And until next time, when you come down to Coliseum Lexus of Oakland, let them know who you're with. Ask for Brent, and we'll see you at the dealership soon.